Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm doing a double recording today. I feel like doing another run. I should I should light a candle. It's coming to be winter time. It's like fall slash autumn now. But we're approaching winter time. It's really uh I should fire up a candle. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, I said yesterday in the video that I'm going to play this clan so that I can silence Wart, and so I'm going to do that. <laughs> we got Clunky, Ebelnom, or Nibter. Um, this guy is so much worse than the other one. Like, look at these two heroes side by side. This guy doesn't catch up for a long time, but... I wish they would let me blast these out all in one go. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna play this because maybe it gets cool. Maybe we get a cool chrono setup or something. Who knows? And I'm gonna continue to just play Spike. Our units get injured again, so I don't get to throw units to the wolves like I was. But that's I. Well, let's ride. Love this new system. I've been I've been itching to play some more. A lot of people are talking about it in my Discord, and I can't participate because I haven't played it yet. So I just have to wait, so I'm trying, I'm gonna grind a few out. I'm probably, this is Sunday, I'm probably gonna be streaming this game either tonight or tomorrow. Not sure when, though. It'll kind of depend on what I'm feeling on Sunday if I feel like playing video games on the internet. I should not hold this hand. It's a really big misplay because getting Spike out one turn sooner is a huge difference here. It gives me this double kill, and it means I don't have to deal with any more damage on my hero. Oh, and I have a four, a four on my waddle, or four, a four on my, yeah, on my waddle goons counter on my snowzuka. The only downside is I don't have anything to play on this turn because I don't want to give Chungun a plus one. Hmm. I'm just gonna start hitting waddle goons, I think. Yeah, we'll kill Waddle Goons, and then I'm, I'm trying to greed here for a Snowzuka on the Goblin. That's what we're looking at. I'm gonna go for it, because now I can hit the Chungun. There'll be five open slots. I can hit the Chungun next turn. So that I don't take an extra point of damage on Spike, so that Spike can tank the next wave for me with the help of a Gear Hammer here. Unfortunately, not getting a ton of value from this goblin, but that's okay. Actually, unfortunately, you know, it's probably better to just kill a penguin now for a two kill. Or maybe this. Hmm. You know what I'll do? I'll silence Big Bang. That's the easiest. They're all fine. I'm just looking, I was looking for, because I have to hammer a penguin here so that I don't lose Spike. There's nothing crazy to do on this turn as a result. It's like, one more hit on the goblin. I was running the numbers in my head. The math all works out to be about the same. I'm pretty sure you're leaving here with around 80 gold every time. It's like 82, I think, with Big Pang. Because this guy drops about 14 on death. Somewhere in that range. It's like you would... Yeah, 15. You would, like... You would gain... It's like minus 5, but plus 4. I'd be somewhere... It, it would be indistinguishable i think if you could play that line both ways and i could just show you the gold total after each line i don't think you would be able to tell the difference i go treasure here i want to pick up a bink for this run oh wow perfect i could also play snow cake though And Snowcake is really good, but having a second source of ink for Wart is like, it's oh, it's so important. Also, does that say, yeah, when hit apply to to all allies? Okay, I think Bink is the play. I really just picked this so I could silence the final boss. This clan, that is. And it's weird to go out of order, I know, but I think it's going to make, like, the true final bosses of this game are the really fucked up runs that you have. And that's what we're facing here today. I'm going to play Skaven. This is my guy. The hardest part of this game, I think, you can make something harder than anything else in the game. I'm almost certain. 
you can forge a run that is just so hard to beat. Why did I hit the Frostinger? I should have been hitting Porcupine. That was foolish of me. I guess we could do it like this, and that'll give me a kill. Not a good kill, but a kill. I should redraw. You're always going to draw Gear Hammer. Oh, never mind. Gonna draw Skaven, though. This doesn't pan out. No matter what you do here, I think you're not multi-killing in a meaningful way. Unfortunately. I'm supposed to play... I'm gonna... S I'm gonna redraw. Maybe I was supposed to play Junkhead there, but I think I'm supposed to redraw. I redrew into Junkhead. What do you know? Oh, hey! Ho ho ho! Okay, I see ya. That Ice Lantern has a little little secret surprise for ya. And even look at that guy. He's got a little secret technique up his uh up his sleeve. We're just gonna settle for a bunch of two kills in this fight, I'm pretty sure. I didn't want to silence the goblin, which is why I did not play Bink at any point in this fight, just in case you're wondering. Was not interested in silencing the goblin. I am down to play Bink on this turn. Silencing the Mimic is very nice. And silencing the Ice Lantern as well. It's a huge win for me. It's five in the Ice Lantern. It's probably better like this, and then I just ping the, the, the Ice Lantern off. It's a three kill. Hmm, that Ice Lantern dropped four dollars. How much did that mimic drop? It's like six. Interesting. It's all very strange. Light goes here. Fly once there. Junkhead tanks this, and then I'm Sun Song boxing my hero. So that my hero lines up with Skaven. Remember, I do take injuries again. Don't you fall for it. Here's our two kill and we can walk away. All right, not too bad. The early money is a lot more important than money is going to be later in the run. Money in this money at this point is, matters a lot more, but the shops are cheaper still. So, you know, I'm sure that's a bell we're gonna run into sometime soon. In theory, it's lethal. Eh. It's always lethal when my hero goes. It has to be. All right, GG. Is that it's like a 164? 162 maybe? 162. 14 indeed. Would love to go for the triple triple card path, but alas. Gotcha Pomper, Sun Cream, oh boy. It's a real two real good picks here. And clockwork bomb. I think it's always Gotcha Pomper. It's something we can do with our hero that is pretty good. Just, it makes Bamboozle much easier. It makes my life much easier. And it makes this unit better. Well, usually. I have no damage boosts, but that doesn't mean I won't see one. And I think that it's good to have something like a Blunky play. It's a bit of a Blunk out. There's a world where we can just uh, take it over with Blunky. Crown me? Yeah. Foggy Brew. Yeah. Yeesh. Moose Charm? Hmm. I'm gonna buy two charms. I know I could see Sun Charm, which would be really good. Trash Charm? That is like the opposite of good. That is just bad. That is uh, like three charms on this run. Bread Charm, Moose Charm, Trash Charm. Wow. Oh boy. Well... I'm gonna play Gotcha Pomp or Crowned. I think I'm probably supposed to play Moose Charm on my hero. This makes the future prospects of our run much nicer. 
holding onto these charms is gonna be a mistake. I'm gonna feel uh, like obviously bread charm, trash charm, they actively hurt my run. But holding Moose Charm when I've spent, because I've spent a lot of my resources in this run buying and upgrading and picking up charms, and for, if I play this run through uh, with these dead charms, I'm just not going to be happy about it. I want to do Snowzooka, Spike, then Skaven. Spike kills baby Snowbow. I just want Skaven to line up with my hero here. Like so. And then I'm playing Junkhead. I'm just going to ring the bell here because I can't kill anything meaningful. Wow, this is still not meaningful. Okay. This guy's got 18 health. I guess we get to work. Get it started on him. Maneuvering this hand is, or this board is really annoying. But it's high. It's okay. Then I'm down for a Sunsong Box Blunky is usually good. Anytime you have a unit that attacks with one attack, if you care about their attack, giving them a plus one is of course very good because you're just doubling their attack. Blunky now does two instead of one. That is twice as much as he did before. It's like this. I'm gonna, this deck is going to build a lot of junk, so I would be interested to play something... I know I just passed on Frenzy Wrench, but that's because Frenzy Wrench is kind of stinky. I'd be interested to play something good to get rid of my junk. Don't ask me what, though, because I actually have no clue what I could look for. It probably was Frenzy Wrench. Maybe, maybe that was what I was supposed to pick up. I don't know. Curious, isn't it? Six, seven, two. I could just kill Boozle here. I think getting rid of the Winter Worm is probably my best play. Putting 13 in the Bam. I guess two kill through Bam is fine. I lost. I fucked up my positioning here. Blunky isn't supposed to tank that. It's just a mistake. Blunky's not supposed to get hit by that. It's just, it's hard to keep maneuvering this this uh, board correctly. Six eight two two barrage, whatever. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. To be honest with you, I'm ready to be done with this fight. I made plenty of money. I saved up as well. We're more than fine. Nozuka. Do you are you a click and drag player or are you a click once? Like do you click once and then move it? Or do you click and drag? Because I click and drag. But I just realized you can even you can even do the other option. I didn't even know it was possible. Never really occurred to me until right there. I feel like click and drag is just more natural. It I feel like you link the thought process to the drag. Hmm. I mean, Squid Charm is just winning. Squid Charm Blunky is the way forward here. Mm, I'm down to just keep looking for charms. Any plus attack charm for Blunky or Sun Charm, and this run goes crazy. Bomb Charm is pretty good. Sadly, I don't get to play the Lumen Vase on this run. Molten Dip, yeah. You could maybe pick Mimic there if you prefer it. Boom and the Lantern? Okay. Uh, that's really good for me. Unfortunately, I have to skip the crown for it, but fortunately I bought a crown. So, Lumen Lantern, and I will take a charm. Block charm? Cool. Lumen Lantern is good because Blunky is good, and Blunky is good because I'm putting Bomb on it. Therefore, Lumen Lantern on Blunky, pretty solid. Because then bomb, I mean, even like a one to two, crazy. So strong. So we'll go. You gotta play Lumen Lantern and Blunky on turn one so I can guarantee the hit. 
And I'm down to play a block drum on my hero to be nice and safe. It's not out of the question that I see Sun Cream again on this run. It's entirely possible that I see it. Unfortunately, Blunky's kind of bad. I mean, Silence into King Moko is just kind of bad. Oh boy. Don't love that. I'd have to freeze that guy. Oh no, he gets Silence. Doesn't matter. The teeth here don't matter. Nothing matters. Because I have Silence. You don't lose attack. You don't add teeth. It's all fine. I'll still freeze him. And yeah, I'm done. I think it is to try to play Sun Song Box as much as possible. Spike doesn't even get played here. We want Gotcha Pomper. I actually want to press the bell ahead of Gotcha Pomper. Ooh, ew. Good thing I have Block Charms. Can't silence this, unfortunately. This is fine, though. I prefer it like this, so I get the extra 4 gold from hitting the goblin. What do you think? I think it's good. Bunky has the block, it's okay. Don't love taking the... Oh, this isn't Fulby. Skaven is not Fulby. Of course. I was gonna say I don't love taking the one trash there, but... It's fine. I'm gonna play Junkhead. We have a lot of time here. As you can see. And they're gonna spawn in and I have 11 damage barrage lined up. That's not what normally spawns here. How strange. I would very much like to hit King Moko here, but I can't. I guess that has to be okay, then. I might just have to tank a hit here, which I can do by recalling Blunky, actually, and I won't even have anyone die. Because adding spice isn't that useful, because I'm going to be silencing him anyway, so it's not even that big of a game. Okay. Final answer, I'm going to hit the Pepper Witch. Doesn't really make a big difference. But now this gives me two turns of time to hit King Moko and build my spice up before Blunky silences him forever. Which is not terrible. Blunky hits a 13. I'll never die to this fight. That's what's important to know. You know what I'll do? Instead of just redrawing, I'll silence Skaven. Much like the aimless situation where you can, you can reapply your barrage here. Oh no, you can't actually. Never mind. Silence does not let you reapply. What do you know? I'll kill him. I have enough damage to kill him here, I'm pretty sure. With the four bomb, I get another full round of hits in too. Yeah, it's super over. Okay, not too bad. I think without the two bomb, this would be a little bit closer. But when you're ahead on King Moko, when you're going into the final... When, when King Moko spawns and you kill his units within two turns, you almost always win. Most decks can do 80 damage in 5 turns. Even without the buff. Icy Gem is really good. Uh, it just means that if I pick up Forging Stove, this run ends immediately. Which I am down for. It's not a bad pickup with 4 on it. And I'm down to go for Treasures now, because if I, if I want to see Forging Stove, I gotta look at Treasures. Chrono's pretty good. Chrono Blunky. Not too bad. It's like Chrono plus Gotcha Pomper on Blunky is solid. Like that. I'm never playing a unit you show me here. I can't even imagine one I would play. There's a world... I guess I can take Bomb Bomb. There's a world where I would play Mini Mika, but that, that world is when I picked Mini Mika up a while ago. I'll hold on to Bomb Bomb, maybe. I don't think it hurts. 
It's nice to have the 20 HP wall. Alright, bunks him. Go get him. Johnny Blunkerson on the case. It's good to have Bomb Bomb down. Actually, it's wrong. I want Bomb Bomb on a different turn. I'd be better off with Bomb Bomb being played on this turn so that she's offset from the enemy's attacks. That's okay, though. The Lily Drek will not get to eat anything. Bomb Bomb's going to tank 13 on this round, which is fine. Oh, I don't have my... I see. I haven't played my card yet. My Molten Dip. That's fine. Let's play Chrono here. I should move Gacha Pomper down. Whoops. Oh, well. this guy should have died. Bomb Bomb's out. Chrono's in. I'm killing you. I'm gonna come fight on the bottom, I think. You're dead. Blunky doesn't do a lot of damage, though. I actually think I shouldn't come fight on the bottom. It's probably even best for me to just let Blunky lose the block to this hit, because this is a big tempo play. It's not great to spend Gear Hammer here. I'd much rather put a unit out. Uh, okay. Don't love this. Not the end of the world, though. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to press bell. Why, why would I not press bell here? Good point. Could maybe just press bell on the turn before this as a result of this outcome. Not sure. Regardless. I'm molten dipping. The only unit I care about here is Blunky. Yeah, look at this fuck. Look at this bink. Oh my god. Let ICGM take the two bink. It's a triple kill. Bring in the next wave. This is actually, it's pretty good for me to put Barrage on my hero here. Just take home the double, or the triple kill with that. That seems best. What you're going to notice here in this fight, and what I'm noticing here in this fight, is that I did not play most of my units. Which means I probably should get rid of them. Typically if you go a fight where you don't play your units, that usually just means uh, get rid of them. You don't need them anymore. Like, Skaven is just worse than Junkhead in most situations now. And Skaven generates junk. Skaven got us here. Now we're now we can fly on our own. I have no idea. Like these turns are so weird. I should play Junkhead in front, I guess. It's so awkward when the best thing to do on your turn is nothing. Hard to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. God, I pray for Sun Charm. Oh man, this run goes ridiculous. Or you could show me a second copy of Sun Cream, because I know I missed it. But I had to miss it. What did I take instead of Sun Cream in this run? Oh, I took Gacha Pomper. Yeah, definitely the better take. Sunlight Drum is sort of like Sun Cream, if you think about it. Snowball Charm, it's okay. Frostbite Shards in no way. Proto Stomper, I don't think so. I'm gonna buy another Charm and a Sunlight Drum. Goat Head Charm, cool. Oh, it's Truffle and I have a unit that carries me by silencing enemies. Oh dear. Well, I suppose I'm just gonna win this fight fast. Bonky tears Truffle apart. The best thing to do is probably Snowzooka, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I should play Snowball Charm. But I think I can get away without it. Uh, let's not fuck around. 
Let, let's not make this run any harder than I need to make it, right? Let's accept that it's not that exciting. We'll just play a demonize on Bink. And we'll go off. Am I? I put, I put on Snowzuka. I remember, I remember what I did. I was like, where's my other crown? Snowzuka. I did that. Yeah, Blunky goes first against all of these enemies, so I don't care about the plus two. This is the thing. This plus two from Lumen Lantern is just beaten out completely by silence. As we're gonna see here. Now Blunky puts out eight silence. Yeah. It's four freeze, so Blunky perma-freezes everything. This is the safest line to play in this fight. It's not particularly exciting or thrilling, but, you know. I already made, look, we can have one nightmare beyond human comprehension per day. Or per, per every other episode, I should say. They made it so that I'm not allowed to make nightmares beyond human comprehension every day. Because if you do, uh, I mean, eventually I'm just not going to be able to win one. So, we'll play safe and smart. I already got to deal with one hellscape. I made that fucking wart yesterday. Oh, I should have summoned. Oh well. It's a funny truffle fight because that fight is so easy. But I made no money because of how it has to play out. Critical charm for sure here. This is like the best thing to see. I don't want plus five consume. I'm going to take plus one card draw. And it's definitely Critical Charm, Lumen Lantern. Blunky going up to plus two. Ooh, I like that. Charm Merchant. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's a half off. Oh yeah, Sun Charm. Okay, game's over. No, wait, no! <laughs> ah, well. Okay, it's over. Wait a minute. I've been had by myself. Oh, you know, the one time I don't greet, eh? What can you do? I don't really need it, to be fair. I'm gonna win hard anyway. No enemies. Surprising how few enemies, or how, how often I see no enemies can be affected by this in this game. It's like the only fight that gets to do damage to me. Which is annoying. I guess we call it fine. It's the only fight that actually gets hits out though. Hogs get to go before me. I'm taking three, I can make it four with a gear hammer, but I get the extra five gold. I'm actually gonna play safe. I don't trust Razor. And then we'll hit. Yeah, again, the weird apply silence plus wild bug. No clue why it works like that. No clue how it works, honestly. I'll play Junkhead. But, you know. Not the end of the world. Hopefully, I mean, that one... I should bug report that. I, I just never bug report things in games like this. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I should go in and I should put a bug report in the Discord about this. Hey guys, here's a weird one. But it's hard because it's, it's like... Uh, I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you, the reason I don't want to do it is because... Uh, I don't want to link to a video that I made in the bug report. Because that's like... Oh, I don't know, it just feels wrong, doesn't it? Do you think it feels wrong? I think it feels wrong to, like, go in there and go, hey, here's a bug I encountered, and here's a video of me experiencing the bug. I just don't like it. Lumen Lantern's usually right here. Oh, well. I mean, I guess it's always gonna be about the same. Let's see how it goes here.
Does Razor get wild stacks? He does. You know, I probably should have silenced first because I think I just made this fight uh, much harder. Come to think of it. I think I just made this fight significantly more difficult. Hmm. Hmm. Losing to my greatest foe. My desire to learn things. I gotta have ICGM tank this. And then I got Junkhead to tank the next one. But, you know. Thank you, ICGM. Very cool. Now it's fine. Blunky will basically lock him down. Hit him with the bop bop. Alright, not a big deal. Ultimately, if you have a two-timer freeze, you are taking... You're basically doubling enemies with snow resist. You're doubling how long it takes for them to take their turn. You're doubling their turn timers. So Razor would get to go every six turns instead of every three against Blunky. But the first hit's scary. Slopcrackers, Goat, Totem, Bling Bank. I'm good. Bomb Barrel, Storm Globe, Demon Heart, Blaze T. I have, like, there's no reason to even take a charm. I can take Bomb Barrel. It's okay. Combos pretty nicely with Bink. You see this again? Yeah, he has a two turn timer. We got a million different ways to deal with Mr. Wart. I can kill him in a million different lifestyles. In a hundred thousand different mannerisms. Which one do I want to do? I kind of want to do Frenzy Charm Bomb Barrel. I think what I should do is just Crown Bank and then Frenzy Charm it. This is probably best. Four silence to all enemies right away means that it's two full rounds of Blunky hitting, which is plenty. Should be fine. Blunky, and once Blunky goes the first time, the fight's over also. I'm gonna put it on that. Make a really big number. I probably could have been playing something other than Snowzuka turn one, huh? At this point, maybe. A little late for that now, though, isn't it? So you're gonna hit me for zero. Ooh. Now he's Omega Silent. I mean, he's Silent forever. Probably like this. And then press Bell. Because I need to get Gotcha Pomper down soon. That's a five. Holy shit. Colonel's not fucking around. That's a four from Grizzle. It's okay, we gotta go for it. Oh, they're dead. Shocking, actually. I didn't think that was gonna kill. Alright, we get ICGM out here to deal with this shit. This will tank four rounds of the uh, enemy hero. Let me pause here and go pick up my screenshots. You sit tight. Oh, I mean, I'm going to be back in a second. Alright, all done. Let's finish it up, shall we? Mm, probably best to just silence the Mega Mimic here. I guess Blunky does do 9 per hit, huh? That's pretty good. I was surprised when those guys died, but I guess I shouldn't have been. Looks like I'm gonna slow play this fight. That's what it seems like. The only thing that I think you can make in a run that might be completely unbeatable is... I think a teeth run can become really hard to beat. But like, even that Nightmare War loses because I can just play Silence, right? The big thing is you have turn one initiative. You get, you have the crown phase and they don't. So you just pick up something that beats the problem in your run. 
like some, something that wins against the problem part of your run, and you play around that. And I'm going to be doing that a lot with, I mean, basically, the moral of the story here is if you have a problem in this game, the answer is probably to pick this clan and put silence at it. That's what you should take away from this. Uh, it's 3-7 damage now. I'm just going to get a junk hat on deck. This fight would have crushed the final boss, or this build would have crushed the final boss. No doubt in my mind. It's just gonna take a minute to get through the Frost Guardian, because I have to silence him here. But it's not gonna take too long. He's actually gonna die surprisingly fast, because that's how the Blunky scaling goes. And by the Blunky, I mean the bomb scaling, to be fair. You get up to plus 20 per hit, all of a sudden things are dying very fast. What's coming in? Rock Hog? GG. Alright, good run. Nice and easy. Nothing too frightening. And I don't think that this run is going to be bad in the next go around either. Blunky, I don't think ascends to be that scary, but let's see. What's he look like? Five block? Oh, ew. Oh. Oh, dear. One bomb, three ink, one snow on a two-turn timer. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Uh, Maybe I'll play a teeth run. Who knows? What's the new bell do before we go? Reduced enemy wave bell counter. Okay, only two storm points. I Man, I was really hoping that they were going to let me just three, because it's three, four, five, six. No, this is five. This So this one unlocks at three, this one unlocks at four. Yeah, I, I don't love the progression system. I mean, personally, I would just like an unlock all button if you watch Slice and Dice, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.